So I just finished spending time in God's Word and I went through Ecclesiastes 9 and 10 and if you were wondering this is the Bible that I have on the front it has this beautiful lemon branch and then at the back it has the fruits of the spirit um, Bible verse and this Bible is from Hosanna Revival and it's in the CBS version I got it off of Amazon and this is the cover that it came in or like the sleeve I know it's a little messy I do need to clean it but I absolutely love the olive color it is so beautiful but um, I specifically got this Bible because it has like a section in it where you can actually like journal and I can highlight things and actually write in it, which is really nice. Um, but um, as I was saying before, I was reading Ecclesiastes 9 and 10 today. And some of the like big topics that were discussed in here is enjoying life despite death, the limitations of wisdom, the burden of Foley and yeah those are the three topics the first thing that stuck out to me in ecclesiastes chapter 9 is that wisdom is better than a weapon of war meaning that um wisdom can take us far more or wisdom can do far more for us than um any other physical weapon that we have on this world another thing is wisdom is better than um the strength wisdom is better than strength and also foolishness uh following that is death is something that we cannot escape it's inevitable it's something that we're all going to experience and we don't know when we are going to experience it um, and also when we do succeed in life, it is important that we do give all the praise and the glory to God because without God, we would not be where we are today. Um, and then in Ecclesiastes 10, some of the big um, points that really stuck out to me is um, the choices made by a wise man and by a fool man are very different. Um, and you can also see um, through their actions and the fruits that they bear, whether this person is full of godly wisdom or whether they are full of foolishness. Also, the heart of each man leads them into different directions and the heart of a wise man versus the heart of a foolish man will um, dictate like the outcome of their life and as I said before, the choices that they make. And they also have very different objectives and perspectives as well. Um, and also, fools do not consider the future whenever they are working or whenever they are um, just operating or going about their life. It says the words of a fool are confusing, however the words from the mouth of a wise person are gracious. And then on top of that, or the last point that I wanted to bring up is that fools do not want to work hard and they do not realize that if they work hard now, it will better them in the future. And this really stuck out to me when I read um, Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 18 because it said, because of laziness, the roof caves in and because of negligent hands, the house leaks. So that is pretty much everything that I read today. Um, filled with so much wisdom. I'm excited because I'm almost done Ecclesiastes. I have two more chapters left, chapter 11 and 12, and then I'll be done. And I'll be excited to move to another book in the Bible. But yeah, that is pretty much everything for Bible study. What I usually, again, like to do is I like to use um, pens and just highlighters um, for when I'm actually doing the Bible studying. I like to use um, different commentaries on the internet. I try my best to stick to the same one just because depending on like which commentary you listen to, it can always be very different. If that makes sense. But um, I also highly recommend praying before you spend time in God's word so he can speak to you and so you can really understand the message that he is trying to tell you through his word. Um, another thing that I also like to do is when I'm actually like writing down in my Bible, um, I like to have some like um, instrumental worship music playing in the background while I'm, um, you know, writing and like annotating. And I also like to have the YouVersion Bible app read me the actual verse while I highlight. I don't know, it's just helpful. I like it. I also have the app so I might as well use it. But yeah, that's everything that I like to do for um, a morning Bible study. I'm typically doing this more just because I have more time during the summertime. But as I always say, if you are really in a rush, um, doing the YouVersion like daily verse is really great. Um, just because it gives you a Bible verse that you can meditate on throughout the day. Somebody explains it to you. Um, there's a little devotional that comes with it as well. And also um, a prayer that you can do um, in the morning. finished doing some stretches I specifically wanted to do stretches for back posture because I feel like my posture has is it's really bad I find myself slunching over a lot but I just finished the video and it like my shoulders and my back actually feels less tight than it did before which I really do appreciate so I definitely want this to be something that I'm going to be adding into my morning routine consistently um, to the point where I can like actually have better back posture and just posture in general 
So that is pretty much it for the um, little mini exercise that I'm gonna do today in the morning. Recently, I've been trying to incorporate exercise a little more. I actually wanna get more into taking morning walks and running as well, um, which I'll bring you guys along another time. But um, yeah, that's pretty much everything. right now and I'm going to be sitting down and I'm going to be eating my breakfast. I decided that I'd make a breakfast bowl today. So I have some cherry tomatoes at the side. I know I could have put them into my eggs but I honestly prefer them separate and I like eating the little, they're not cherry tomatoes, my bad, grape tomatoes. I actually like eating the grape tomatoes like raw on their own. And then I made some eggs at the side here and then I also have some breakfast potatoes as well. So I'm gonna eat this and then I ended up making another iced tea today. Surprise, surprise. This is a mango iced tea. And again, I just put um, passion fruit puree at the very bottom. This tastes really good. And it's also very refreshing, which I really do appreciate and like. So that is everything that I'm going to be having for breakfast today. But that is honestly pretty much the end of this video. I'm just gonna spend some time um, planning on Notion and also Google Docs. So there's also that, but I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for always leaving comments on my videos. Um, I love responding to your comments, um, so thank you very much for that as well. Also, we are almost really close to 300 subscribers, so that's also cool as well. Um, very grateful for that, and I just thank God that he has helped me along my journey and has helped me make it this far. So, once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you again next time. Bye!